Hello there. Today we are doing a Apex tier list because I don't know what. Let's I guess start. So what we're gonna say is is where is he? Octane. Okay, Octane, gotta say, he is literally the best. His speed ability is extremely good because now he's the fastest character in the game because of the nerf to Pathfinder, but he can regenerate health. Yes, it's extremely slow. That's also been you know, extremely good in different battle situations because if you're not taking damage, you're healing. I mean, you don't need healing supplies, but it will take a while, so you still carry them. But that health regeneration is amazing. And the other thing is, his launch pad, great way to get out of a fight. Yes, there are better ways, like Bangalore Smoke. Or you could just fall and teleport out of there with Lova's new ability. But it's still a great thing to have. Next one, Loba is the next one. He... I mean, she is also pretty good. The stealing ability is amazing, and it's really useful. It can also go for your teams, and you can stop, and you can destroy at will. And you can even take from the Vault or Bloodhound's Trials, which is an amazing thing. Next one, Bangalore. The ability of her game to get a little speed boost if she's in danger is amazing, and her smoke is a great way to revive teammates. Her ultimate amazing it has a high chance to kill but people could just run away from it and it takes a bit of time because they land and then they just have time to run away like with um Loba she can just teleport away and Octane can jump away Pathfinder could grapple lots of them could get away because they have to wait to explode which is a bit annoying so right now she's in tier uh, two Wait, doesn't matter, I don't care. She goes into the middle. Next one, Lifeline. Her ultimate, pretty good, because you can get one healing item, one attachment, and one bit of armor. Well, one an attachment item. I don't know. Wait, um, so if you need purple shield, that could be pretty good. If you need more space in your backpack, purple backpack. You need a helmet, because why not? You can get one and then healing amazing you don't actually need that much healing because you have doc with you at any time you can just heal plus his shield is amazing when you're going in for a revive so she is going not to the top but quite far up there caustic your traps can only be activated if someone's close so if you're close you're better off just shooting but if they're left and someone walks to it, it, they could easily walk away. And it also, it's really annoying for your teammates because it slows them down and stops them from seeing. So it's really annoying to your teammates. Solo is in the thing. But um, his Nox grenade, it's just a grenade. You're better off shooting, as I said. Because, again, they can run away from it. And his tactical is, if I go over here, let me check. Is he? Well, no, this is his passive. He can see through his smoke. What? That is terrible. Literally, if you're the one putting the smoke down, you should be able to do that already. And, like, if this guy thinks gaining vision in smoke is a ability, you're wearing goggles. You should have already had that ability. And so should have half the people... Like, Pathfinder is a robot. He doesn't have eyes. Why does he not get uh, the ability to see through your smoke? This is why the game makes it not that much sense, but it doesn't matter. You not that great. 
I'm putting you not on the bottom, because I don't think really any of the characters are terrible, but not exactly amazing, are you? Okay, next, Revenant. His climbing ability could be useful to get back up to a building or onto a mountain where you are parched, arched for a sniping spot. His silence ability wears off quite quick and only does like 8 damage, so like, it's not exactly amazing, but stopping a wraith from like portaling or or going into a void to escape is quite satisfying to stop them. And over there, a Pathfinder can't grapple away. So, for that itself, it's pretty good. You're going in the middle, Bloodhound. His abilities are actually quite useful. Even though he's a free character, he's amazing. Seeing the footsteps that people have left behind is amazing. Follow them, find your enemy, kill them. Or get killed, either way. Tactical can reveal enemies and traps perhaps nearby, even clues who's being if someone's opened a thing nearby. It's amazing, it's really useful. Also, he can see some smoke. Bangalore is useless against a bloodhound. His ultimate, transform into the ultimate hunter, uh, increases your senses, allowing you to see cold tracks, meaning someone left there a while ago, you can still see them. Um, and you can move faster, and knockdowns extend your duration of time in hunter's mode. This is amazing. I would put you with them, but I think you're on the same thing with his life thing. Crypto, I don't know what to actually say about you. You're not that great. Because, like, your passive literally is his teammate. Wait, to be specific, Crypto and his teammates see what surveillance drones detected up to 30 meters away of distance. That should already be in his tactical. Deploy a drone for 60 seconds. Cooldown if is if destroyed. See, the thing is, it's a good thing that you can just keep it out forever, unless it's destroyed. Yes, it takes 40 seconds, but you can bring it back and put it back out instantly. You just only get the cooldown if it's destroyed. However, this Ultima is for his EMP, for a drone. Meaning, the thing is, this is a stupid thing. Because... Literally, if your drone is destroyed, you can't even get your ultima. It's practically useless. And if you're in a co-op, being against the new quests, it's absolutely useless. Also, you can stun your teammates. It may not damage them, but it still stuns them. So, like, Crypto, I would put you there. But you're just with a course of Pathfinder. Okay, let's check his stats. Passive. Scan us of... A surveillance beacon to reveal the next ring location. That is amazing. It's the best thing because literally, say I'm in the circle, but say I like, got like a cool stick. They're only really good with camping. So like you scan that, you know the next circle, so you don't, so you can just go to a building straight there. Really useful if you're doing a camp, if you're going for camping, or if you're going aggressive. You can go straight into the ring, and then go to the next ring, and, and you can be blocking off the area for anyone else to fight, to get in, un unless they want to fight. Second, that tactical grappling hook, get out of a fight, get into a fight, whatever you want to do, mate, or just travel around the map. Yes, it's been, a, been nerfed for that cooldown, but like, it's not that bad still. Yes, no one exactly picks him over the new fastest character, Octane. But still quite useful. Zipline gun. Creates a zipline for anyone to use. If it was like a Loba thing where you can destroy it afterwards, that could be amazing. Because then enemies can't follow you. However, if you're being chased and you use this, they'll just jump on it. Yes, you can shoot off it, but the meaning, if someone else is on it, they could be shooting you off it. Even get a sniper on you. But so like, for that reason, it's not that great. But like, for a giant distance, you can just like zip line over it, not taking that much damage, and it's quite fast. Um, Octane using Stim actually even goes faster on zip lines, which is amazing. So for that, uh, no, not there. You 
are going with Revenant and Bangalore Pathfinder. Your oh, tactical is amazing, your ultimate is amazing, but could be tweaked. And your tactic, oh wait no, your passive, amazing. Your tactical could maybe get a bit of a buff because it takes you a long time. Zipline, great. Maybe a bit of a tweak there, but doesn't matter. Next one, Gibraltar. Let's, let me see his stats, and yes, I've actually got Apex on for this. Aiming down sights, just deploys a gun shield that blocks incoming fire. That's pretty good. Say, if you're doing a snipe and someone's aimed at you, you can block the bullet with a gun shield. It's pretty good. Like, yes, they can shoot, like, your legs because it doesn't fully cover you, but... You can still block half your body, which is amazing. Tactical. Blocks an attack for 12... So he makes a bubble for 12 seconds. Healing items are, are used 25% faster. It would have already been good with a shield. It's kind of like Winston's shield from Overwatch. But then, healing items can 25% faster within the dome is even better, which is pretty good. His ultimate. Defensive... V bombardment. Call in more or less a, a thing. What's it called? Call in a conf constructed motorist. Okay, so more or less you're getting an airdrop. You're more or less landing giant explosives on a specific location. So if someone's camping and they need to get to the circle, throw the grenade. All the uh, missiles come from the air. Literally, is amazing. Also, I see something underneath which is fortified. Incoming damage reduced reduced by 20, 15%. So he's not slown by bullets. By the way, you may not know, heavy bullets actually slow you. Meaning he's not affected by that. So, you, ben, so you Gibraltar, are pretty damn good. But, actually, you know what? Yes. You can go with Bloodhound and the other. Mirage. Let me go up to him. His passive. Hey, hey, now you see me. He includes himself when using a respawn beacon and reviving teammates. I don't think they remember his ability on call, which still actually works. Which is, when you're knocked, it deploys a clone and you go invisible for a short time. So that's still active. Meaning he is even better. He's got like two passives. Tactical phase out. Sends out a holographic decoy and can now control it, making it copy exactly what he does. That's amazing because they used to just send him and he'll get stuck in a wall, stuck in a lamp, stuck on a rock. But like people would still fall for it. And now you can copy. Now he copies what you do by controlling it. So you can get him to crouch. He can even jump on. Um, Octane's uh, bouncers. So he can bounce, he can crouch, he can jump. Now, people get bamboozled a lot more. Life of the party, Mirage deploys a team of controllable decoys. Wait. Meaning, specifically, he summons eight decoys and they all go down home and they all copy what you do, which is a pretty good. And being like that, I have to put you not in the top, but close enough. Watson, let's check on it. Uh, his passive, Spark of Genius. So when you're using an automatic silent, it gives you 100%. And, what's this, standing near... Uh, so standing near pylons boosts Watson tactical recharge rate. And ex automatic silent is, is give you 100% of it all here, tactical, electric fence. Well, I don't care what it's actually called. Well, she puts up an electric wall, stuns enemies if they walk into it, and damages them. It's really good. It's useful if you're tank. If you're, um, well, it stuns them, it slows them, and it damages them a bit. It's great if you're camping. It's pretty good and useful. That's amazing. The ultimate uh, is an endurance pylon. It can stop... Uh, it's a place an electrified pylon that destroys incoming thing. thing hold on, some repairs now. So it recharges your shield and it stops incoming attacks. So, like if someone like a Bangalore or 
Gibraltar through that, like, ultimates of grenades and stuff. This she is this pylon is like a shield and it blocks it. Meaning she's actually really useful, but not the best. Now, as we know her, the scrimmer, Wraith. Her passive voices from the void. Can hear voices of danger and approaches is see this can tell you your being aimed at. That we need to get to the ring, someone threw a grenade, someone has been here recently. All that can be told to you. You may want to have your sound up when if you're playing a wraith. But it's actually super useful. Say you're camping and it says someone's aiming at you. Then you know you're going to get shot at soon. And then you know how to hide. That's really good. Into the void, she can more or less kind of not exactly go invisible, but like she literally goes into a void and can't take damage. That's good if you're in a fight, you need to get someone to hide, or you just want to take no damage for a little bit. She can run out of there and be safe. And dimensional rift more or less makes a portal for 60 seconds. There's a certain distance, but it's really good. Plus, you can also use Into the Void and Dimensional Rift. So if you're putting your portal out, you can use Into the Void to take that so you can't take damage while putting your portal down. So it's also a double, which is still really good. And no matter what you're doing, still got your passive there. So for that, I think I have to put it into the top. And that is my Season 5 character tier list. This is what you got. Bottom tier, I don't think anyone is. Second to bottom, Caustic and, Co and Crypto. Third tier, you got Aunt Bangalore, Revenant, and Pathfinder. On your fourth, you have got Lifeline, you have got Bloodhound, you have got Gibraltar, you have got Aunt Mirage and Watson. And at top, Octane, Lobo, and Wraith. There you go. My Wi-Fi sucks, but this was a good video, maybe. And that's my tier list of the Apex Legends of Season 5. Woo! By the way, yes, I've been playing Apex the entire time, looking at everyone's abilities. So, this is fair. I've been looking at all of them. Yay!